In this demonstration, I will show you how to configure Remote Solve Manager to submit jobs to a remote job scheduler in a Linux platform LSF, PBS Pro, Torque with Moab, or UGE cluster using the Secure Shell or SSH protocol. In this scenario, jobs are submitted from an RSM client such as Workbench or EKM to RSM Manager on a Windows machine. RSM then sends the jobs to a machine in the Linux cluster for job scheduling. The SSH protocol can be used to securely transfer job files from the Windows RSM Manager machine to the remote Linux machine and to submit and monitor jobs. This assumes that an IT administrator has configured SSH on the Linux machine to allow passwordless access from a Windows machine. I will need to add the RSM Manager machine as a compute server in RSM and in the compute server properties identify the remote machine and how files will get transferred to that machine. To begin, I will right-click Compute Servers in the tree outline and select Add. I'll specify a display name of Manager SSH to Scheduler to help me easily identify the compute server in a list. Since the machine that I'm adding as a compute server is the RSM Manager machine, I will enter localhost as the machine name. I will enable the option This Compute Server is integrating with an HPC cluster. To define the way in which the manager machine communicates with the cluster, I will select Uses non-RSM communication to a remote cluster node. This indicates that RSM will use a protocol such as SSH to submit and monitor cluster jobs for execution on a remote Linux compute server. Note that the working directory location has been automatically set to Cluster Network Share. Next, I'll select the Cluster tab so that I can set up the connection to the remote cluster machine. In the cluster node field, I'll specify the machine name of the cluster node that is the submission host or head node, and that will perform the job scheduling. I then need to specify the account name that will be used to submit jobs to the remote machine. When the IT administrator configured SSH access on the Linux machine, this is the account that was used when setting up passwordless access from the Windows machine to the remote Linux machine. To specify the type of job scheduling system that will be used, I'll click the Cluster Type dropbox and select an option. Depending on the cluster type selected, additional settings may be revealed. Next, I'll select the File Management tab. Here I have two options for specifying how files will be transferred to the remote Linux machine and where they will be transferred to. First, I'll specify the path to the remote shared cluster directory, where job files will be sent for scheduling. This is a directory on the remote machine that will be used to run jobs and that all cluster nodes can access. You can enter the path manually or enter an environment variable that specifies the path. I can then specify how job files will be transferred to this remote directory from the Windows machine. To speed up the file transfer, I can set up a network share so that Windows can directly access the remote Linux job directory. I would then select the existing network share option and enter the Windows UNC path of the network share in the network share field. If I select the general tab now, I can see this path displayed in the working directory path field. In this case, the Windows machine can see the remote Linux job directory and RSM will simply copy files over to the remote machine without using the SSH protocol. To transfer files to the remote machine using SSH, I'll select the second option of using an external mechanism. If I go back to the General tab again, there are now two different options available for the Working Directory location. The Reuse Manager Storage option specifies that you want to reuse the RSM Manager's Project Storage Directory as the local Working Directory. The User Specified option enables you to explicitly specify the path to a directory on the RSM Manager, so in this case I would specify the path to a directory on the local Windows machine. In both cases, job input files will be transferred from this directory, to the remote shared cluster directory using the SSH protocol. Finally, I need to specify the directory where cluster jobs will run. I can run them in the shared cluster directory specified above, or in a scratch directory local to the execution node. If I select the latter option, I need to specify the path to the remote cluster scratch directory. I am finished defining this RSM compute server, so I will click OK to add it to the list of compute servers. To complete the configuration, I need to define a queue in RSM that jobs can be submitted to. I will right-click Queues in the tree outline and select Add. Because I am integrating with a Linux cluster, the name of the RSM queue should match the name of the Linux cluster queue exactly. Once I've specified the name, I can assign the new Manager SSH to Scheduler server to this queue, then click OK. Jobs can now be submitted to this queue and then forwarded to the cluster queue for scheduling.
To test the configuration, I will expand the Define Q node, then right-click Manager SSH to Scheduler and select Test. This submits a test job to the remote Linux machine, where the job will be handled by the job scheduler. I can see that the status is finished, which indicates that the compute server is properly configured. If the job were to fail, I could right-click in the job log view and select Save Job Report, then send the saved job log to customer support for troubleshooting. This concludes the demonstration on configuring RSM to submit jobs to a remote third-party job scheduler using SSH.